probably anywhere between one month and uh, six weeks out. At, that's assuming that we're at roughly the same amount of rainfall that we've seen this week. It's a different story if, if we're looking at last week because uh, the inflows were up at 800% of normal. We're, we're quite a bit lower than that now. We are currently uh, out of flood storage in Hartwell, out of flood storage in Russell, and we just about got Thurman back under control. It's getting close to guide curve. So as soon as it gets the guide curve, then we'll, we'll start drawing the other two down. But in, in the meantime, if we get more rain, we're kind of relying on Thurman to store it. And if Thurman runs out, then we will cause severe flooding downstream. But in the meantime, we're, we're in pretty good shape. It, it depends on the year. I would, I would assume that you know we will typically look like we're coming out of drought years. Uh, we we look back and say, well, if it's really dry and we haven't seen any changes, you know, we might have a different um, ability to take, you know, willingness to take risk. Okay. In this case, uh, it's a very very wet year. Okay. And yes, we're in the summer, but it's a very very wet summer. Um, the flood storage was there for by design for a reason. And there are years that you do have that kind of inflow. And when you, when you have that much storage and we fill it up, that kind of proves the point that I guess we do need the, that amount of storage. If we didn't have it, yes, you know, we keep the pools higher, but we'd probably induce a lot of flooding downstream, meaning that uh, we wouldn't be able to store it, you know, because we're already full. And so what we've been releasing to Augusta we'd be releasing much higher flows, uh, pretty much what the storm was dropping on us at the time. We, we, we didn't have any place to put it, it would, we just had to let it go. The gate tests were just that, they're a gate test, they didn't really move much water. Uh, the previous couple of days, we were moving a lot of water because we ran out of space at Hartwell. I mean, and that's kind of my point again. Um, if you have that much rain, uh, it doesn't take much when the ground's saturated to, to cause the pool to fill up. And we exceeded the top of our gate, so the only thing we can do is, is open them because we, we don't want to fill a gate by, by overtopping it, so we keep up with the pool. It, it is effective. I mean, I'm sure that we could look at it and, and tweak it a bit. There's always room for, for improvement. Uh, at least uh, going back and evaluating its effectiveness. But um, it, it is designed that way for a reason. I mean, the same amount of conservation storage, same amount of flood storage, all of that is designed for a reason. Well, not just depth. I mean, yes, yeah, some people's houses are surrounded by water down in Augusta, and, and the depth is a problem so you can't drive through it. Um, but also, as you put more water in the river, your velocity tends to go up. So it's higher velocity than normal. So if someone's out there wading or boating and something happens, then the river's carrying them downstream much quicker. Um, you especially want to be careful when you get down to the lock and dam structures or other docks, because if you're, if you're floating and you're going by a dock, you know, it, it's just going to take you under the dock. We are getting the water out of uh, flood storage as quickly as we can. We've already induced the flooding, so we're, we're just trying to evacuate the storage as, as fast as we can so that this doesn't happen again, at least not in the near term, hopefully.